here's an experiment I did and it came out pretty good. Now, I don't know how to name this effect, but it looks pretty cool. So I'm going to show you how to do this in Photoshop. Okay, so my artboard size is 2560 by 1600. Step one, let's select the text, press Ctrl T, press and hold Alt, scale it up. By the way, I went with the Humane Bold font. You can check it out here. Now I'm gonna select the background, the white background, press Ctrl J to duplicate. I'm gonna drag it above the text and it's gonna look something like this. Make sure that you're on black and white here at the colors. So I'm gonna click on this little icon here and now you can see the top is black, the bottom is white. And from here, let's go to the filter filter gallery and make sure to go to the sketch, select half tone pattern. Let's switch the dot to a line and increase the size a little bit more, decrease the contrast. So it's going to be a little more blurry like this. Click OK. Now I'm going to change the blend mode from normal to multiply. And I'm going to press Ctrl T to transform, press and hold Shift plus Alt and I'm going to stretch it. Also, I'm going to press Shift and I'm going to rotate this, something like this. Look at that increase the size, double click release, select the text, let's go to the filter, blur and select Gaussian blur, convert to smart object, I'm going to add 4.2 as a blur to be a little bit more blurry, click OK, click on the top background with the lines, I'm also going to rename this as lines, go to the adjustments, scroll down, select the threshold, there's the magic, I'm going to pull this like so, and you can also select the lines. You can press Ctrl T and, you know, adjust it however you like. It actually might go like this. This looks even better. Oh yeah, there you go. Now, if you zoom in, it also has this anti-aliasing, which I don't like that much. So we're gonna need to fix that. I'm gonna select all the layer, press and hold Shift, select everything, right click, convert to smart object. And I'm gonna go to the filter, blur, Gaussian blur, and I'm gonna add a little bit of blur to it. Click OK. Let's go to the adjustments and select the levels. And I'm gonna increase the contrast. There you go. Looks something like this. Okay, from here, let's select the smart object, go to the filter and select liquify. Now comes the font part. I'm going to distort it, something like this. I'm gonna click OK. Let's see how it looks. Oh, nice. Look at this. From here, I'm gonna select both layers, right click, convert to smart object, and I'm gonna press Ctrl J to duplicate the layer. Double click on the top layer. I'm gonna uncheck the blue from the channels. Click OK. And I'm gonna press the right arrow so I can shift it. And you can see it creates this color. I'm gonna press Ctrl J, duplicate, and I'm gonna uncheck the green. So it's going to be the red, click OK, and I'm going to press the left arrow a couple of times, and look at that. And this was it. Thanks for watching.